हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी बिल्डिंग ए फ्लैश को लॉग इन सिस्टम यूजिंग सेशन सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ लॉग इन स्क्रीन हेयर यू कैन जस्ट लॉग इन विद योर यूजर नेम लेट्स सपोज आई चूज जॉन एंड आई हैव सेटेड अ पासवर्ड व्हिच इज पी ए एस एस डब्ल्यू ओ आर डी सो दिस इज पासवर्ड दिस इज अ करेक्ट पासवर्ड सो इफ आई सबमिट इट आई विल बी रिडायरेक्टेड टू द प्रोफाइल पेज दैट इज वेलकम जॉन टू द प्रोटेक्टेड पेज आई हैव आल्सो अ लॉग आउट बटन इफ आई क्लिक दिस लॉग आउट the session will be uh, gone and i will be redirected back to the login screen and if i just wanted to go to the protected route directly that is slash protected i will be redirected back to the login screen and now if i type a wrong password let's suppose it will not let me log in you can see that if i just uh, type the correct password which is password and let me just change the username to smith and submit you will see that welcome smith to the protected page so in this tutorial we will be building this simple login application using flask so for this we will be needing three files guys app.py so this is a python file and apart from that just create a templates folder inside this you will be having your login form index.html and you will be having your profile page which is protected.html so here i will be deleting all the code and starting from scratch so right here at the very top we will be importing flask so from flask we will be importing first of all the flask library and uh, i will put a comma and i will be importing the session also and then i will be importing the render template this will be useful in order to render the html templates entire in the, inside our flask application and also we will be importing the request module in order to make request and also the redirect we will be redirecting users so we will be using redirect g for the global variables we will be using global variables and ur url for that's it and now after that we will also be importing the operating system module and then we will be initializing our flask app so flask i will provide this name attribute this is a standard way in order to declare a uh, flask application we will also be setting a secret key which will be operating system dot u random and inside this i will pass 24 and then i will be just be initializing my app here so the right here at the bottom here we will check if name is equal to main then we will be uh, running our app which is app dot run and inside this we will pass a option which is debug <coughs> debug to true that's it so debug is, is equal to true is just doing that if we uh, refresh the application if i make any kind of changes it it will auto reload i need not have to start once again and now we just need to define some route here so right here we will de define define a route which is the post route so app dot route so inside this we will be having this uh, login this index page so inside this we will be defining our methods so methods will be equal to either get or post so depending upon whether we are making a get request or post request so it can be expecting get or post so right here inside this we will be defining a simple function which will execute which is define index so inside this index function we will be defining first of all checking that if the request dot method is equal to post if it is a post method then we just need to uh, drop the session first of all so in order to drop a session in flask we will be making use of uh, session dot pop and here we will be defining a property of user and the next argument i will specify is equal to none so this will drop the session before you make any kind of post request so after that we just need to get the data so we will be first of all be checking that if request dot form Uh, the password if the password that the user enters is equal to the password that we have defined here as we have don't kind of any kind of database so we are just um, typing a static password so the password should equal to this password here if it is equal to that then we can just set a session so session in order to set a session we use this syntax here session dot user and we will we can just initialize it to the username that they have typed here so we will be having this request dot form dot username so after that we can just redirect them to return redirect and inside this we can just pass a url for so url for we will be passing protected 
so we will define this route here of protected just before that just before that we just need to go to index.html and make a simple form here before we can just make a post request so here we will be writing a simple login form and inside this guys we will be having a simple form tag the action will be equal to the home route and the method will be post so inside this we will be having two input fields first will be for username input type text and uh, let me give a name attribute to it of username and it will be required just for the validation part required and also we will be having for the password so input type password name is equal to password and it will also be required that's it and now we will be having a simple button in order to submit it so button type submit that's it or you can just change this to input here so input type submit that's it so this is our form guys so now if we make a post request it will come to this route here and we will be setting our username to the requested the whatever username that they have typed and we will be redirecting it to this route that is protected now we just need to create this route here and also if the method is not post if the met method is get we will be returning here uh, return the render template of uh, login screen so we will be returning index.html that's it if the method is a get get method then we will be returning the login form if it is a post method then we will be returning this protected route we just need to create this route here guys so right here at the bottom we will create this route app dot route so inside this we will be creating this protected route and we will define a function which is protected and inside this first of all guys we will check if the global user is set or not so for that we will be using this g property g module that we have imported from the global variable so we are declaring a global variable here if the global variable of user is set then we will be returning the render template which is uh, the protected.html so this is a protected.html this is a profile page of the user and we will also be passing the username as a session variable so dot comma so inside this we will be making a user variable and uh, inside this we will be setting to the session of the user so we will just write session inside this we will initialize user so we are just passing the username to this protected.html and now if the username is not set we just need to return we just need to return redirect to the page which is url for inside this we can just pass index in single quotes index so if the username is not set and then we are if we are directly typing it in the browser slash protected it will return the login form that's it this is the meaning of that and now we just need to create a middleware which is uh, which will execute before any request is made which is app dot before request this is a middleware that function we will write here this will execute before any kind of request is made guys so define before request this is a function which will be execute so inside this function we will just be defining our user global user variable so first of all we will be initializing it to none so initially it is empty and then we will check if the user if the user variable is in session so we will write this syntax here if the user is in session this simply means that if the session variable is set if it is set then we will be initializing g dot user to the actual session that's it so now guys if we run our application if i hit this green button <coughs> oh sorry guys i have forgotten a colon here so just put a colon so now if i run the application it will run my application on port 5000 you can see that and now if i go to the home route it will display the login form here and now if i go to the slash protected uh, directly it will redirect me to the login page you can see that and now if i type the password which is correct here password and if i click submit you will see that it will redirect me to the protected page here i haven't uh, provided any kind of here so 
just write a simple message here so in the h1 tag i will be writing welcome and in order to embed variables we will be using double curly brackets welcome the username to the protected page that's it that's it and also we will be having a logout button so button on click we will be defining a on click attribute also and after that uh, we will be having a simple type is equal to submit and this will be logout and we just need to define our on click here so we will just change the window dot location method window dot location property to this uh, string here which is http localhost the port number is 5000 and we will call this route here which is drop session so here we just need to define this route here which is actually we deleting the session for us so right here at the bottom here we will be defining our route here so app dot route so inside this we will be having our drop session so inside this we just need to define a simple method which will actually be deleting the session for us so drop session so in order to delete a session in flask we will be using the session dot pop again so inside this we will be specifying the name of the session which is user and we will initialize it to the none property that's it so this will delete the session for us and also we just need to return this uh, render template this will redirect user to the login screen so inside this we will specify index.html so now if i hit the logout button it will redirect user to the login screen and it will also delete the session for us so now if i just refresh the application here if i hit this green button so it will restart my application and now if i go to the slash protected it will be redirecting me to the login screen if i uh, provide a username john and provide a password here password and click submit here you will see that welcome john to the protected page and we have a logout button if i hit this button i will be redirected back to the login screen so this is kind of a session login system that we have made in flask here so thanks very much guys for watching this video and if you like this video then please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel by hitting the red subscribe button and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much